In this movie, we're going to take a look at setting up submixes and um, color. In this movie, we'll take a look at setting up submixes and we'll color our tracks so that we can more easily identify the types of tracks that we've got. Uh, first, let's set up submixes. We'll go to the mix window. And right now, I've got the narrow mix showing. I can show the wide mix by unchecking narrow mix in view, narrow mix. And since I didn't track this, I'm not quite sure what the um, groups are, but I can kind of tell with the track labels. So I'll solo by shift clicking the tracks that I want to solo. So here I'm going for all the drum tracks. And I'm going to guess maybe this room one, room two might be the room uh, mics for the drum tracks. And I'm going to hold Option and Shift and click the Solo button. That'll turn on Solo for just those selected. If I actually just hold Option while clicking Solo, it solos all the tracks. So I don't want to do that. So Option, Shift, select Solo. And I'll get my narrow mix again. And let's take a listen. Okay, that sounds like just the drum set, and that's a lot of tracks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 tracks or so. Okay, so that's a lot of drum tracks, um, but it's justified because the kit was mic'd um, on separate tracks, so the snare has a separate track, the kick has a snare uh, separate track, so does the toms, etc. So to set up a submix group here, I'll be including all of these tracks. So I'll create a new aux track. So Shift Apple N. Okay, one new, and I'm going to create a stereo aux track. Aux input. And I like for my aux inputs, my submix stems to be right next to the master. And I'll call this one drums. Okay, the next thing I'm going to want to hear is the vocals okay so I think the vocal tracks are on voc 1 voc 2 so select them and hold option and shift okay let's take a listen okay there's nothing right now in the tracks but we can see this teal and yellow yeah just got off my mundane job again back on the road backwards to home again how many of the okay so i'll create a new stereo aux input and call this vox okay option click this now the guitar tracks looks like he labeled them G-I-T and then the track. And there looks like there's a lot of them. So shift click them, option click solo. And then it looks like later there's a lead. Okay, that all looks good. And I'll create a new submix. Okay, one stereo aux input. And call this guitar. And I'll create another one and call that bass. Well, even though I just have a bass uh, track, I like to see a bass submix anyways. <laughs> Hard to say if you'd be submixing one track. And I'm going to go ahead and create one more submix that's actually a submix of my submix. Um, and that's the guitar and bass together. I'll call it rhythm. Each of these represents a particular stage where we can. Um, adjust the gain. 
Now, it's not enough to just create these aux tracks because if I just start playing the uh, session, you're not going to see anything light up in these aux tracks. So, watch. So you notice that there is no signal coming into the aux track, and that's because we need to bus out each of these tracks to the auxes. So to do this, we're going to use buses. And we will first send all of the drums out. So we'll send from the kick out to room two. We'll shift click all of that. Then hold option and shift and click the output. And here we'll choose bus and we've already got these auxes set up. So drum X. Okay, now we'll choose the vocals. Shift click the vocals, option click the outputs, option shift click rather. And we'll send out to bus Vox. And then let me hide the memory locations. Choose the guitars. Okay, and option click, option plus shift click the output to guitar and the bass. We don't really have to option click it because there's only one track. Choose bus and it looks like there's not a bass uh, bus. So let's make one on bus 1314 and I'll right click that one and say bass. Now on the aux track, we need to set the inputs. So for the drums, the input is going to be bus drums. The input for the vox is bus vox. Input for the guitar, bus GTX. Input for the bass is bus bass. And we can send the output for the aux to be <clears throat> Bus 1516, we'll rename this Bass Mix. And now the input to Rhythm, um, and actually we'll do this for the guitar too because we want that to output to Bass Mix. The input will be Bass Mix and the output control room. So now when we play, you'll see the meters light up here in the aux section. And if we want to quickly mute one of the submixes, we just mute it at the aux. So submixing is going to prove to be very valuable uh, when we're mixing this particular session. One final thing we can do is we can also set up mix groups and we're going to do that in the next movie.